Uh, our topics today that we will be covering is the clinical science, which previously was known as the basic medical science. And I think it takes the best or the hugest chunk of mark distribution in terms of the MRCP part one examination. So can anybody tell me, uh, uh, sorry, I'm just jumping into different segments because I am thinking that there might be some constraint of the timing, but don't worry. I will cover all of the topics that is provided to me. And uh, since clinical science can be a little bit intimidating, so I will make sure that it doesn't feel like somewhat of a boring or uh, tedious lecture. Uh, so allow me to introduce myself. My full name is uh, Janata Rakta Riva. I did my MBBS from Dhaka Medical College, 2012-13 uh, session, and currently I'm training in uh, medicine. My current placement is, placement is in cardiology department at the uh, Bangladesh uh, Sheikh Mujib Medical University. I'm doing my FCPS training over there, part two training. And I um, recently came back from uh, United Kingdom. I was given the fully funded Commonwealth Scholarship to do my uh, master's in the applied infectious disease in one of the top 10 uh, QS ranking world-class universities, which is known as University College London at the Institute of Global Health. And, um, and I completed my MRCP part one in September 2019, and I did my MRCP part two written during my full-time master's. Um, so if there is any difficulty understanding me, or if there is any uh, audible problems, please let me know. I will uh, make sure that nobody feels left behind or nobody feels like uh, my there has been a communication gap. Um, so does anybody have any prior idea about what clinical science entails in uh, MRCP part one examination? Can anybody tell me? From the audience side, uh, do you have any idea about the clinical science? What questions usually come? Okay, no problem. So there are basically uh, 25 marks are preserved for the clinical science. And I think uh, for the other clinical portions like cardiology or rheumatology or gastroenterology, uh, it usually takes 14 questions. So uh, I think everybody is quite familiar with how the examination is held. So basically it's a six hour exam uh, and there is a break in between. And there are two papers, paper one and paper two for the part one examination. Each of the paper consists of 100 questions. So you will be encountered with 200 questions in total for the entire MRCP part one. And all these questions are single best answer. So there is no alternative to the right answer. So out of five choices, you have to pick one. And uh, uh, okay, and uh, there is no easy way to predict whether clinical science will be incorporated in the paper one or paper two. They can be either uh, uh, divided up into different parts and they can be incorporated, incorporated into both of the papers or they can just uh, come all together in a single paper. So uh, is there any difficulty following me? Please let me know. You can text me or you can unmute yourself. You can ask me questions. I'll be able to give you answers as soon as possible. And for the materials, I would strongly advise to start here. If you're a, a beginner or if you have never taken preparation beforehand, uh, and if, you're, if there is some sort of clinical gap or if you think that uh, studying medicine altogether can be a bit, uh, difficult for you at the moment, I would strongly suggest to you that take your time and you're at the right place. And uh, the lecture sheet, I think I'm going to be showing this in front of the audience. I think all of you have this lecture sheet here. It has been provided to you. So uh, if you follow the, if you go through the topics and then uh, then jump to the question answer section, and uh, then if you just take, make some notes uh, by yourself, and then uh, check the answers in the last part. Don't uh, check the answers in the first part and then uh, do the questions. Try solving the questions first. You, there might be a possibility that you might actually end up uh, getting two of them right out of 10 questions and it should not make you disheartened. So uh, it's you're your own critic, you're your best uh, judge. So uh, don't cheat on this type of practice examinations. Uh, first, uh, practice by yourself and then go through the answer sheets and then see how many of them you have gotten them correct or how many of them you have gotten wrong. 
And uh, for each day, I would propose that uh, if you have three months, for example, if you're planning to sit for the next diet, you, uh, I think the next one is in August. So there are usually four diets, diet one and two, I think the dates have already and the application period have already passed. Uh, the second uh, diet examination is about to take place in April. That's uh, how much I'm uh, aware of. So the next uh, two diets, diet three and diet four, the one will be held in August and the other one is I think sometime around November. So uh, if you're thinking that you're gonna be sitting for the next diet, which and you have only like three to four months tops, then you should be able to uh, give, I think at least eight to 10 hours a day uh, so that you can study and solve the questions and uh, finish a system first and then jump to the other uh, um, section. Do not solve cardiology questions and then take pause and then go to rheumatology randomly because in that way you'll feel like you haven't got, gathered all the information that is required for you to pass the cardiology portion. And I think for the mark system there is a graded scaling marking system in MRCP part one unlike the traditional exams that we encounter in uh, Southeast Asian countries. Uh, I'm not sure about how the NEAT PG examination is uh, held in India but in our country one of the most popular examination is the FCPS or the fellowship examination and the other one is residency so for these exams uh, you don't really need a lot the, the questions are usually predictable and the marking system is quite straightforward if you uh, if you if you give one wrong answer then your marks will be deducted there is no negative marking and for the MRCP part one however there is no uh, negative marking but you should remember that you need to pass in all these uh, all the separate portions like you need to pass in cardiology you need to pass in rheumatology you need to pass separately in the clinical science and uh, if you fail in one segment then even if you uh, get the um, required pass mark that is re uh, that is required of you to pass the part one examination uh, in total if you get the whole mark uh, it, and if you just fail in one segment then uh, it will be considered a fail so you have to be very careful you should be very uh, you should be planning ahead to pass all the segments and uh, clinical science uh, is consists of 25 marks and uh, from what I've gathered is the from the clinical anatomy and the cell molecular biology five marks are distributed Biostatistics epidemiology section uh, takes up five, five marks and uh, the rest like the physiology and the biochemistry section and uh, there is another immunology section. Uh, all of them uh, take up four marks each. And finally, the genetics, uh, there are usually three questions. Uh, so um, th three questions are reserved for the genetics portion. So if you ask me, uh, should I prioritize which part of the clinical uh, science I should focus first? Uh, I would say clinical anatomy and at the same time, biostatistics is very important. And of course, um, I would say physiology is quite important. And the rest is, uh, you should actually give importance to all of them. There is no single way to just eliminate one or two topics because I think that maybe I got them covered because MRCP examination is quite unique so you should uh, focus on every individual sections so uh, for the purpose of our discussion I uh, I think uh, I have been given the slot of three different classes uh, one, uh, th the first session I will be focusing on the anatomy and the cell molecular biology and I will also discuss about the immunology and the genetics section.